Google. I'm back. Hi, Tech with Brett. Hello. Hey, hey there. there. Brett has, has arrived. arrived. By the way, don't forget to make my Google Home Routines video. I'll do that right now. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And today Max and I are gonna show you how to use the new routines on your Google Home through Google Assistant. Now, first off, I wanna mention this is a US only feature at the moment, and this will work on Google Home devices. Here I'm using Google Home Max, but you could use your Google Home regular or the Google Home Mini, so those will all work. Let's head to the phone and show you how to set this up. Before we head into the Google Home application, make sure that your device is set up on the same Wi-Fi network as your Google Home devices. So now we can go into the Google Home application. Now that we're in the Google Home app, we're gonna verify that our account is set up correctly. So we're gonna select the menu in the top left, verify that the email account right there is the same that you connected to the Google account, select more settings, and then under any of the Google Homes here, you can select one of those, and then here, allow for personalized results, and that will give you the best experience when that is enabled. Now, if you have other users in your home that would like to use routines as well, they'll need to make sure that they have Google Home app installed on their phone, they verify their account, and then they need to go into the devices tab at the top right here, and then here it will say link account to the Google Home. So then that will link them and they can verify their voice and they will be able to receive personalized results as well. Now that we have verified that information, we're ready to set up our routines. So now we're gonna go into the menu again, select more settings and scroll down to the bottom of the screen and here you will find routines under the services section. And here you have routines. So have your assistant do multiple things with just one command. Use ready-made routines you adjust to fit your day and create custom ones from scratch. So routines allows you to do multiple commands at once. So let's get started with what I started this video with. So right here, I have the I'm home routine. So when I open that up, up here at the top, you can choose how to activate that routine. So right here I have I'm home or I'm back. Either one of those will activate. I could also add my own custom command right here. And whenever I say that, it would activate that routine as well. So now when we go back here on the I'm home routine, you can adjust your lights and plugs and more. So I select the settings here and I can choose which lights are turned on, turned off, or do not change. I really like that it has those options because I don't always want all the lights to change on these routines, maybe just a couple of a time. So you can go through and add those if you want. Next, we have adjust thermostat. So if you want to enable adjust thermostat, you would just need to check the box on that side. And then over here, you would tell it what you want it to do. So when I say I'm home, I could have it turn to 72 degrees or 74, 70, whatever you want to have happen. Now this will only change your smart devices that you have set up. So if you haven't set up any, you can head to your Google control settings. I have plenty of other videos showing how you can set up your home control devices and some devices that I recommend. Now you, there is no option to change if it's on cool or warm, it will just change what is currently available. And then there is no way to set it at away or any of those other features you would need to use other apps to do that. Next you have broadcast I'm home. So I did have this enabled originally where when I get home, it will let every Google home in my house that's connected to my network and my account know that I am home by broadcasting Brett's home. Then we have the tell me my home reminders. So I had previously set a reminder that said, when I get home, remind me to make my Google home routines video. And that is why that one turned on. And then here you could adjust the volume. So maybe when you get home, you wanna jam out, you can come in here and turn your media volume all the way up to 100%, or you just want some nice, relax, calming, relaxing music, you can turn this down. So on the Google home that you activated, it will turn that down. And then down here last you have, and then, and you can have it play music, news, radio, podcast, audiobook, or have it do nothing. So in the music, I previously tried to have it play my intro song, but I'm getting different results from the phone and the Google Home. On the phone it works, the Google Home it doesn't, not sure why, but you could put a playlist there and it will use your default music service to control that. So right here, you can set the default music service. And then under news, you can have the options that you previously had on the My Day. You can go in here and add your favorite news source. You can add the order that it says the news. So here I can add NPR News Now or Reuters News, whatever. 
and then I go back and I have all those options and I could change the order that those are going to play right there. So that's the I'm home command. And when I finish changing all of these, I would just need to select the checkbox and it saves that. Now let's look at the rest of these commands. So four of these will be activated with your Google Home. The other two will be activated from Google Assistant on your mobile device. So here when we go into the good morning command, we have it set to say I'm good morning, tell me about my day, I'm up, and then it will activate these. There are a couple of the features that are available only if you have an Android phone like this one. Take phone off silent if you have Android, that will work. And then here I can have it set the proper volume that I want it to do in there. It specifies this is for Android only. But the next part, all of this will then work no matter what device you are using as long as you have Google Assistant supported. So then here I can adjust the lights and this would be different from what I previously set up. So in the morning, maybe I only want the kitchen lights or the bedroom lights to turn on. I can have that done all right here. And then I can adjust the thermostat. Again, I can choose a specific temperature I want done in the morning. Here I can have tell me about the weather. So the weather for the day, I can have it tell me about my commute. So if you have a work address set, it will actually tell you how long it's gonna take you to get to work and here you would go in and add your home address and your work address. And then down here you have tell me about today's calendar. So it will tell you exactly what is happening in the day. And then here we have today's reminders and again, adjust media volume, music and more. So let's go ahead, save that and let's start that routine. And for this routine, I'm gonna activate it on my Google Assistant on my phone so you can see exactly what's happening. Hey Google. Good morning. Hi, Tech with Brett. The time is 11.38 p.m. Right now in Linden it's 36 and clear. The forecast tonight is 37 and clear with periodic clouds. Tomorrow at 9.15 a.m. you have workout. By the way, don't forget to upload your Google Home Routines video. Also, don't forget to take out the trash tomorrow. Have a nice day. And there it finished the routine. So here under the good morning, you can see I have music set for my YouTube outro and it actually played the playlist from Google Play Music that I had previously set. So next we have bedtime. We're gonna save that one for last. Here we have the leaving home. So if you're about to leave, you could have it quickly turn off all the lights in the house and turn the temperature down. Even though there's not an option to set your thermostat to away, you could still have the thermostat change to a lower or higher temperature so that you save energy. And then the last two commands here, commute to work and commute to home. These will work from your phone with the Google Assistant application. So when we commute home, we can have it tell you about your commute. So it would then tell you how long it's gonna be, tell you the weather, and you can easily turn these on and off, tell you the calendar events, adjust lights, and uh, more. And so when you try to activate one of these on the Google Home, it will say, The commute to work routine is not available on Google Home, but it is available on phones with a Google Assistant. So you will hear that message letting you know that you do have to use your phone to do that. So let's have it tell me about my commute, and then we can have it tell me about the reminders, turn off the lights, adjust the thermostat, adjust media volume, and then there we could have it play some music. Let's go to work. Sure, let's go. There's light traffic from your location to your work, so it should take 21 minutes. By the way, remember to upload your Google Home Routines video. Also, remember to take out the trash tomorrow. Safe travels, tech with bread. So there you can see it ran through all the commands and there it ends by playing my music on my way to work. Super nice. And then last we have the commuting home. So here we have let's go home. You could add anything there. We can have it tell us about our commute home, what the traffic's gonna be like. We do have a send text option. So if I wanted to text carry on my way home, I could type in who I wanna send that text to and then I could say I'm on my way home right there. And here if you leave the message blank, you could change the message once you activate the command, it will ask you what you want it to put in that box. And then we have read unread texts and that will work if you have an Android phone. Here we have the broadcast, I'm on my way home. So that would send a message to all the Google Homes activated on your account. We can adjust the lights, adjust the thermostat, 
and then change the volume. And then maybe on your way home, you want to do podcasts or whatever it is, you can open this up and play the latest podcast of a specific episode or change it to a radio. Maybe you want a specific radio station right in there. You can do that. Or if you have a Google Books audiobook, you can have it play the last audiobook that you were listening to all right there. Or you have the option to do nothing. Maybe you just want to sit in silence on your way home. You can do that. So that is the commuting home routine. And that's all of the routines right there. So now we're gonna end with the bedtime routine. So this is the final routine you would say for the night. You can do bedtime, good night, time to hit the hay, or any personalized commands. You can have your Android phone go to silent. You can have it tell you the weather, tell you the first calendar event for tomorrow, ask you what time the alarm should be set. Here you can adjust lights. So I really like this because I want every light in my house to turn off except maybe my porch light. I could go in and specify that right here through all of the lights that I have. And then here we have adjust the thermostat. So I want that to set the thermostat back down to 66 degrees. And then here again, we have adjust media volume. So maybe at night, I don't want my music to be very loud. I wanna drop it down to 19% or whatever, because then the last command you have here is you could have it play music or you can actually have it activate sleep sound. So we have loved using the ocean sound lately. So you can go in here and adjust the settings, change it to ocean sound. Here you have rain, babbling brook, river, thunderstorm, forest, country night, fireplace, white noise, all of those awesome sounds. If you haven't seen my video about how to activate those, you need to check that out. I'll link that in the pop-up above. When you choose a sleep sound, they will stop automatically. If you wanted it to continue on all night long, you can activate the Google Home and turn on repeat after the sound starts and it will continue playing throughout the night. Under the music option, you do have the option to specify what music you want it to play, but then you can have the music turn off after a certain amount of time. So there you can quickly set the sleep timer for the music that you have it play. Now these routines are personalized. So since I have set these up, they will work for me. If Carrie asks for these routines, it will be different for her. So she would need to go in and specify her own routines on her device. Here on an iOS device, you do have these similar options. So if you go into the menu, go down to more settings, it's gonna take you to Google Assistant and open up routines, you have those same options. Now, if this is a second account, when you try to do certain things like turn off the lights, those will not be available. Those are only available to the account that has actually set those up. Here it says take phone off silent. Now right here it specifies that those are available only on Android devices. So even if you change it here and you had an Android phone, it would enable it on that Android phone. So here you can see those other options are still there. If I go back, I wanted to double check with the commuting home. So when you commute home, you do have the option to send a text message here on the device as well. So you can go in, add the phone number and specify what text you want it to send. Now here on the iOS device, it says read unread text messages. It says that's only available on Android. And that will be the experience with routines on iOS devices. It would be nice if in the routines I was able to control another shortcut. So say I had something that turned off my TV, then I could quickly turn it off. But right now that is currently not available. Now that I have the goodnight command all set up, let's go through and test out exactly how that works. Hey Google, time to hit the hay. Okay, let's get ready for bed. Tomorrow in Linden, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 53 and a low of 39. Need my jacket. Your first event for tomorrow is called Workout. It starts at 9.15 a.m. What time should I set the alarm for? 8. Okay, your alarm's set for tomorrow at 8 a.m. Good night, Tech with Brett. Good night. And there it is, the goodnight command went through everything, telling me the weather, setting my alarm, playing the ocean sounds, all with one command. So really happy that it can do all of that at once. If you have any further questions about how routines works, please leave a comment below. And if you would like to see the full breakdown of how routines works, I will leave that in the description below. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.
Good night.